Hey guys, uh, core group leaders, I want to thank you guys for stepping out uh, in obedience to the Lord and making disciples of people in our church. Um, I know that it seems like a daunting task, but uh, I want to encourage you that this is why we were given the Holy Spirit. You know, um, just one reason is to have power uh, and ability to make disciples in our city and of all nations who then go out and make disciples. So um, going to be uh, getting started up here coming next week, uh, second week in November, um, or even the week after that. Um, just want you guys to know there's a lot of grace in how things go. I would just say be faithful and be consistent. Some of you guys got a lot of signups right now. You're ready to start next week um, on the day that you designated to be your core group meeting time. Uh, some of you, uh, you're still waiting for signups, so it's going to be a little while before you get rolling. Don't be discouraged. Lots of grace. I say the big thing would be to be consistent and to be faithful as a leader. And if you're going to take a break, it's okay. Take a break. Just let people know uh, ahead of time that you're going to take a, a week off or something like that. Um, some of you may want to do three or four weeks a month and take that fourth uh, week off. Um, and so I really want to encourage you that it's an endurance race that we're in. It's not a sprint. So, um, but be consistent even in your breaks, like, Hey, we're going to take, uh, this first week off in the month or something like that. Um, we're also going to have, you know, it's the fall and have probably a week off for Thanksgiving, probably a week or two off for, uh, Christmas, New Year's, that time frame there. Um, and so a lot of grace kind of in the fall here as we're moving forward. Um, so we have a curriculum that I've uh, put together and it's, uh, it's something that we used a few years ago, a number of years ago. Um, something that uh, the gospel coalition uh, put out that was really encouraging. Matt Chandler was one of the guys behind it. Um, and we found it to really help with um, conversation, getting people in the word. Um, and I want to say, uh, that if you feel like there's a curriculum that God's put on your heart or a book you want to go through with your people, uh, talk to me about that because that may very well be what the Lord's leading for your group of ladies or men. Um, I have put together a curriculum here that I think is a good starting point for us. And essentially what it is, is, um, it's just a review of the gospel. And, uh, and I'll go through that in a second. But the program is called the Downline Builder. And the cool thing about it is that you can kind of tailor fit curriculum for your group um, at any given time. So I'm gonna take you over there. I'm a little new at this, using this on the Zoom. I'm gonna share my screen here with you. And looks like I'm sharing it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm hoping this is working. So uh, what we have is the Downline Builder dashboard. I'll give you guys the login information. Um, in the future, you can come on here and create a new group. Um, but I have created this uh, Core Groups 2021. And you as the teachers can download the uh, teacher material and give your students, uh, and we can use the church copy machine to print these off. Um, I think there's a way to even do a link so that they can follow along on like an iPad or something like that. Um, but I'm just gonna click on this Core Groups 2021. We're gonna go to the curriculum here. And this is like a 15 week series. Uh, we'll be done roughly around March with it. Um, and then probably take, you know, spring break off, you know, maybe start back up in April. Um, but I wanted to start with the gospel because the gospel is not just the foundation of the Christian faith. It's not just something that you need to hear, you know, when you're a kid or at the beginning of your walk with the Lord to get you saved. Um, the gospel, as you look at the scriptures, is it's not only the foundation, but it's the stem walls, it's the plumbing, the electrical, the insulation, it's everything. 
everything in Christianity flows out of the model of the gospel, the story of the gospel, the hope of the gospel, the motivation of the gospel, what Jesus has done. So as we begin to work with people about um, sin and pride and lust and addiction and bondage and witnessing and parenting and marriage and you name it, you know, work ethic, all of these things, they flow from the gospel. And, um, and it's important that we as a gospel-centered church get people centered on that and remember that. We want our people in our core groups to be the ones that um, are constantly referring to the gospel. Um, and so there's this three-part series here of uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. You can download for teacher, download for students, um, and each week tackle that. Maybe have them read it before they get there, and you can kind of go through it a little faster. Um, then this green section was a, is actually a session, um, but it is, um, it could say here, share a meal, go shopping together, go mountain biking together, you know, whatever, go for a walk. Um, but because I didn't want to box you into what, it's, it's really green is life on life activity. I didn't want to box you into what you might not be interested in. Um, so uh, I just put other there. You find for your group what you guys want to do during these life on life weeks. I actually typically share a meal um, every time I'm together with my group, but that takes up a lot of time and you may not want to do that. Um, so we got the gospel the first three weeks. We got just a life on life week. This is all flexible here. You can switch and swap however you want. Um, and then I, there's a three-part series on the filling of the Spirit. This is that part of the gospel that also shows us where the power to live a Christian life comes from, uh, where the, the comfort of a Christian life comes from. It flows out of the gospel. It's part of the gospel. And it leads us into you know, where does the power for obedience come from? Um, and then there's after that three weeks, there's another Life on Life week. And then we've got uh, the Christian and sin nature. Um, then we've got uh, three weeks on battling temptation. Then another life on life activity day. And then a week on idolatry, looking at what idols are in our life. Every sin issue has roots in idolatry. It's a worship issue, a heart issue. And... Um, and then uh, just a final week there on godly affections, um, which also, you know, funnels into that worship and idolatry. And then I believe that'll set us up really well for, you know, a spring and a summer of, um, you know, maybe going through some more particular sin struggles or particular um, mission, you know, you can, maybe we can feel out each group and you can, um, custom make your own curriculum uh, come late March, uh, early April. So um, it's the downline builder and it's the core groups 2021 plan. And uh, you can get a, in touch with me if you have any questions on how it works. You can print off your curriculum or um, I've also done it on my iPad before. So you're going to want your group to get binders and three ring punches. The church has the three ring punch. You can punch it. Actually, the copy machine will punch it for you uh, so that it can just go right into the, each member's um, binder. Let me get off the screen sharing here. Um, and uh, well, I think that's about what I wanted to share. Um, I'm thrilled that you guys have these groups. Thanks for stepping out, being obedient. Um, we'll have just these occasional Zoom meetings or conversations or even get togethers after Sunday, we can talk a little bit about how your group's going and what uh, maybe prayer you might need or any advice or encouragement. Um, but I'm confident that the Holy Spirit will be with you as you step out in obedience to what he's calling you to do in this season. So uh, love you guys and look forward to all that God's going to do.